Last night was so fun. <laughs> I know. I'm glad we made it out before he woke up. <laughs> oh. Shit, this is David. I got to pick up this promo shit before I head into the office. Are you coming to the concert tonight? Yeah. All right, well, I got to go. Okay. Brooke, make sure you call my mom. Okay. All right, well. Get out. Call her, Brooke. I will. It's open. Yeah, we know. It's 6 a.m. No, it's a beautiful day today. Come on. Give me the blunt. What? Right. So you gonna come chat with me tonight? Can't. You can roll with a cheap all fucking summer. Well, if it was an exclusive thing we did, then we'd be doing it. I got caught getting hit one time. You'll never let me let that down. Listen to what you just said. It was a fucking white girl. And plus, we were just becoming friends. We're still becoming friends. I've been your only friend for about two years now. <laughs> I'll be my only friend forever. Can we ever know the true difference between meaning and intent? They exist in a symbiotic relationship without resolution. Okay, class. Your last assignment. Write a ten-page essay on an American author's first, second, or third novel. I will be uploading them to check for plagiarism. Remember, in literature, there's a groundwork. The rest is up to you. See you all next week. Parents? Worse, overbearing aunt. <laughs> Ari. Brooke. Weren't you at the barbecue on Sadine Street this past weekend? Yeah, I went to the school with those dudes. What are you still doing around campus? Well, you can't get a degree in fun. <laughs> so, shitty freshman English course is standing in my way of being a college graduate. So, how's that cost? I love anything to do with writing. It's okay. Uh, I have two more classes left and a 10 page paper on an American author on one of their first three novels. I have this novel if you want to use it. Are you sure? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. Don't worry. I don't know if I can take your book. No, 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 no. I have. No need for it anyway. Go, go, go. It's all yours. Do you take classes here? Yes, I'm a business student. Twelve. <laughs> no, I'm a sophomore, but at the end of the summer session, I actually didn't have enough credits to be like a junior. My apartment's a few blocks away if you want to go. I'm going to make waffles. Who can say no to waffles at three in the afternoon? died in a heroin drug deal when I was really young. No way. <laughs> okay, so you're like some tortured artist or something. <laughs> or something. Mmm, too shaved. Well, at least like you have something to draw from. 
Okay, I try to write my characters, and none of it's ever any good. Well, you have to paint the people you surround yourself with. But you have to surround yourself with the type of people you imagine writing about. It's this weird paradox, but it works. Is that what you do? More or less. Okay, so while everyone is inspired by the muse, who seems to only truly be concerned about herself, the perfect backdrop is created. No, the muse creates the perfect backdrop because, well, being alone, no one wants that. Oh my God, you like, you get life. <laughs> I don't think anyone can get life. Okay, that's what Shannon Osley was talking about. You just don't get life. It just kind of happens, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to my friend's house in a minute. Do you want to come? Your friend lives in the penthouse? <laughs> want sushi? Yes. Want. So, whose house is this? Jason's. Yeah. Hey, babe. Hi. So, I, uh, I see you to search for me? Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Kidding. <laughs> you know what? Where are my manners? Would you like a second drink? I'll take whiskey. What would you like? I'll have whatever she's having. Two whiskeys? Maybe someday. Are you two dating? There's only so many times a nickel and dime drug dealer can smoke me out. Or rat me a few bars about dating an art teacher. Tell me about it. Every male student prospectively graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science thinks that I would be a good baby mom. <laughs> And so it goes. So, are you not drinking with us? I, I get 15 minutes, then I gotta get back to work. So what do you do? I'm an attorney. I own my own firm. We represent a lot of companies in China, a few major corporations here in the US. My stepdad's a lawyer. Dirty, grimy, and American. You know, this one, I, I try to get this one to intern. You work to make money to collect art, and you date girls that live their lives like art. Go where you're most valued. <laughs> I once had faith in the justice system. You are so full of shit. You get off on the scheme of things. Well, I should really get back to work. Ladies, holler if you need. It was very nice. Yeah, you don't have to... I, you know what? I'll come in tonight. Just leave it on my desk. Just leave it on my desk. Hey, come here. What can I do for you? I need money. For what? Rent and canvases. Why don't you just stay here? I need my own space and you're never here. So this could be your own space. It's a few little ones. The guy buys a big full penthouse from the press girls and they think it's great. You need to be taken care of. No, I don't. Wait. No, I want you to stay here tonight. I heard you. You're going back to the office. If I'm awake when you're done, yeah. Someone's got to make the money. 5 a.m. is unreasonable. 
How about I give you a key and you come to my place? You have yet to see a single one of my paintings. Oh, that's right. I'm asking for too much. No, no, no. I promise. I, I, it's just, when I put in a long day, I want to sleep in my own bed. I will make time next week and I will come see yourself. Can I have some blow? Uh, yeah, where are you going? A concert. My cousin's working. Okay, uh, it's in the closet. Take the smallest bag. And don't let anybody have it. They can't offer me more than you can. That's right. <laughs> Ari, come on, we gotta go to a party. somewhere to be tonight. I want to go to strip club. Uh, okay. Oh, we have somewhere to be, so. Next time. Ready, kid? Come on, ready, Bro, come and send me up there, please. I wouldn't mess it. Where are you guys going? American tour, tour city, three months. That's incredible, like you're living your dream. Oh yeah, I guess so. I haven't heard any of your lyrics, but I can imagine like that your phonetics are out of this world because you're going on tour, man. And I, I mean, well, you look like a child, so I can't imagine that you've also have like a full learning experience in America's educational institution, which would make you like a ghetto genius. <laughs> no, but do you understand how incredible this is? Like people being like like getting paid off of your oh, Ari, we have to go. Break a leg! Bye, Kate. want this night to ever end. We should go to the strip club. Relax. I have to get home and finish a painting. 
So why is it that Casey didn't want us to go out? Do you always ask questions? No, I just can't help it. Like everything is just so fascinating and, and, and complex. And... She doesn't want us flirting with the client. It's, this is her job, it's serious for her. Wow, you guys are like very different. I suppose. Do you guys get along? Can you just ride? Oh. Um. Oh. And is it going to be my turn? I thought you said no one can make you come. I changed my mind. Well, maybe next time, Ori, because I got to go to class and I'm about to be late. Well, how many naive girls have you oh. screwed off I'm on this bed? Huh? All right. All right. You didn't hear this from me, but you definitely want to be the first. But, uh, really, I gotta... You haven't even fucked me yet. Exactly, yet. Yet is the key word. And plus, you're a motherfucking virgin. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Yes, you are. See, I bet you you haven't even touched yourself Ew, yet. Ew, of course not. Exactly. See, I bet if you bust that pussy up and everything starts clicking You're through. fucking disgusting. How is anyone gonna take you serious? Take me serious about what? About your future. You can't continue to walk around with these little short sh shorts and this top with cut out sides and be taken seriously. Do you have that check for me? Yes, I have the check. By the way, um, take that to the registrar's office. Have you spoken to your father? I don't have a father. Whoa, God. I like it. Thank you. I feel like if I'm going to hang out with the in crowd, I might as well look the part, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try this? No, but can you help me put that necklace on? Mm -hmm. okay. As tight as you can get it.
you are my life-sized Barbie. <sighs> Thanks, I think. Ready? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Hey, did you read this novel yet? Yeah. Does she have a second one? Like, where do you go from there? <laughs> no, I, I feel like she's very important for our generation, though. I, she has, like, this dismissive tone that you're becoming a natural i'm just so happy to be out of bumblefuck nebraska you know i'm just ready to live okay so i've read all of these books all the authors they talk about is adventure so i am over being a prude <laughs> that's the spirit all right we gotta go But first, take those stockings off. Too much? <laughs> Just a tad. It's the boy! It's the boy! It's the boy! Girls, one mic. One mic, girls. Girls. Hey, what am I? Can I hit that one? Can I get started here? Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, nice to meet you. So I see you. I see you. Oh my God! Drinking before the pregame. Oh, absolutely. I already know we're Like when I was a child, I I dreamed of like having artist friends. <laughs> Dreams do come true, eh? <laughs> so are you gonna like one of my cookies up? No. What? Well, you guys seem pretty cozy. Yeah. Not like. I like it. Yeah, he's not rich like the white guy, but he's appropriate. Appropriate? What are you talking about? Okay. Oh my god, where'd you get this purse from? I think Jason gave it to me. Oh my god, it is so She wants to stay with one night. She's a grown woman. <laughs> she made her choice. Now you make yours. You coming? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you come with us. I'm Chelsea. Ari, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. These are like doubles. Cheers. 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 Mm. What type of guys you like? Wild ones. Mm. So you a super freak? What's that? Men can like love women, but if women love men, they're labeled horribly labeled. Like wear a red A on her dress, like for the rest of her days type label. <laughs> it's a reference from you. Sorry. Never mind, guys. <laughs> so like my parents, they want me to like have a stand-up guy for me, but you know, you see, I want passion. I want sex. You know. You know, an, an orgasm during sex, and then after sex, I want tea to be brought to me. I could do that for you. 
No, I want like I want a guy who's like passionate. I want a guy who knows himself. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Guys like that usually have big dicks. <laughs> well, that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> or would I? I just... <laughs> but you're leaving. I'm coming right back though. Mm hmm. You spending the night or no? Uh, I mean. Still not drunk yet. You gotta get drunk this minute right now. You change. Oh, uh, whatever. You haven't been this big yet, so you don't know what you're gonna be doing. This and that, I'm here right now. Yeah, right now. And then tomorrow, where will you be? Okay, relax. She does this all the time. What, you, what is wrong with you guys? You have a baby bond. <laughs> Look, we have to go. Where? What's they're, wrong? Okay, they're raping a girl in the other room. <laughs> Are you sure she doesn't want to be in there? What is wrong with everybody? She is wasted right now. <sighs> Okay, I guess. I mean, I'll go check it out. <laughs> Are you okay? Literally, just calm down. Please, can we go? Yeah, let's go outside. It's okay. It's Please, a party. Can we go? It's just can a fast go? girl. She's fast. Like, this is a party. It's okay. Can we go, please? She's please? just trying to have fun. Come on. Come on, give okay. me your hand. Let's go. But we have to go, like, now. Isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. She's an angel. She's amazing. We did great. You know, we did awesome. What's up? Jesus Christ, I don't know. I already saw something and she flipped out. Relax, okay. Is one mic okay? Of course not, some bird bitch was getting flipped. And I think another guy was in there and I already saw something. To think I shared some of my best drugs with her. Another one bites the dust. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> okay. You had a choker? What were you doing with the choker? You didn't have a carpet. I was the cuter person. Yeah. Why were you hanging out with that guy in the first place? You're gonna say that about me. Well, that's not you, so that's around the back. So who is this chick? I don't know. Some girl I met outside of my class the other day.
you get for picking up strings? That's what Casey says, but there's nothing wrong with sharing the love. It's pretty beautiful, it's like, you always know that person can't hang. Hey, hey, I just ran into Brooke having lunch with the guy that I was talking to you about. I could have told you that already, my, like myself. Like, why my guy? There's nothing wrong with a Welcome. Thank you. Look amazing. Space is amazing. Thank you very much. I mean, this is the war you're going to be exhibited on. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't. It was only four years ago we were in our first painting class, and now we're like grown ups doing big things. I know the way you paint, man. A few moments from now, you're going to be unreachable. I won't even be able to call you. What? I'm Stop serious. it. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. What's this? This is the alcohol deposit. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. Uh, before you got here, I was just going to roll up a split. Would you like to draw me? I have to go do work, but I'm going to drop my paintings off next week. Is that okay? That is fantastic. Uh, before you leave, uh, bro, there's this American artist. She grew up in Paris. She's coming to the city. Would you like to take a look at her, uh, her work? Okay. Um, she's really huge out there. A friend of mine dropped uh, the flyer. I think this is it. Take a look. Okay, I love. We'll check it out. I already love. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. I'm ready. It feels like freedom. It tastes so sweet. Three times. I don't care what time it is in Asia, this guy's gotta call me back. <laughs> they don't have alarm clocks in Bangkok. <laughs> Bro, fuck, come here. Thank you. Yeah. So, Noah, tell us, how did you two kittens meet? Hello. Wow. Oh. I tell him. You stopped me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We met on a plane. We were coming back from Vegas. I was on a business trip. She was on spring break. Anyway, she's sitting in the first row coach between these two losers. They were such losers. She decides she's going to go through first class to use the bathroom. Coach passengers never understand the rules. Oh, do you think a girl with legs like that has rules? Children need rules. I mean, to be fair, I just used the bathroom that was closest to me. It's not about the bathroom that's closest to you. It's about the bathroom where you're asleep. Anyway, anyway, so she comes walking by, and I couldn't stop staring at her. She's wearing these red jeans with her legs behind her. I didn't leave it until we got off the plane, but I timed my exit so we would go off at the same time. Classic. It's been love ever since. Is that right? What do you guys do? Uh, we're lawyers. Uh, you're wrapped up in uh, our boss right now. So, Brooke, do you have any other friends of your caliber? <laughs> Gentlemen, as great as this has been, I have to get going. No, don't. We're going to make a night of it. Brooke is going to be plenty of company, I'm sure. Fair enough. No, uh... But seriously, do you have any friends? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Well being God. I'm sorry about what happened the other day. I should have checked on that girl. No, I, 
I'm sorry that I called the police. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, she probably wanted to be there. It just was very shocking for me to be in that setting. I don't understand. What are you doing today? I have to study. Okay. Uh, well, good luck with that. Uh, Jason's having some people over tonight. Do you want to come? It'll just be a few people. I don't know about that. I... It won't be like that this time, I promise. I promise. Okay. If I get my work done. Okay, cool. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> I'll see you. You can just call, text her. Okay. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later because I don't even know. Alright, but you know, we'll talk. Alright, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Was that Josie Grossy? She's not that bad. <sighs> right. Just admit that you have poor judgment with people. How can you say that when I spend the majority of my time with you? Well, I think it's out of when you decide to do you also get interest. For instance, don't date men that are poorer than you and don't hang out with girls that aren't as pretty and less experienced in life than you are. You're like missing out on half the world. So? <laughs> Whatever. Bet you, you haven't even touched this stuff yet. Ew, of course not.
What's up? I'm working out. Obviously, like, you ain't been over to the crib in the last couple days. Do you know a girl named Brooke? Yeah, I mean, but it's a ton of people with that name. Don't shit me. Brooke, Brooke. Tall, skinny model, Brooke. <laughs> yeah, I know, Brooke. That's my girl. That's your girl? Yeah. Like, your but girl, you too? Like, you're dating her? Nah. I mean, well, it's kind of complicated. What's complicated? Get in real quick, sweetheart. Get in. Just come on. Get in. How you doing? You good? How do you know her? It's not important. What's wrong? Are you dating her or not? Nah, we're just good friends. She's a coke whore. Brooke doesn't do coke. What? Then you don't know your friend. She even watched a girl get raped and she didn't do anything about it. What? Nothing. Oh, let me guess. She told you that I was gonna act crazy over nothing? Well, you know what? For your information, you're right. She wasn't watching because she was in the other room hooking up with one mic, which is really interesting because she's dating a 60-year-old no, white no, billionaire she, as well. No, she's not. <laughs> Bet me. You were delusional if you want to be with such trash. Are you even sure you know what you're saying right now? Or are you like, she has a lot of friends and her life is pretty complicated seeing that she don't have parents. Like, What the fuck like, is that? Is, is that a sob story that she tells everybody yo, so yo, she can right, get her right, way? Right, right, right. Why do you hate her? Because she's selfish and she almost dragged me but down with her. she didn't do her. anything to you and you only hung out one time. What? How are you even defending her? Oh my god. Huh? Because I know Brooke. You think you do? Anyway, why don't you hit me up when you're ready for a real woman going somewhere in life with real morals and values? Are you dating what? someone? No. Are you fucking some old white man? I mean, he's not that old. What do you mean he's not that old? That's fucking disgusting. You're gross. It's really none of your business. None of my business? Brick, you're better than this. You're not my boyfriend, and you're not my dad. Well, you need to hear this shit from somebody. But I didn't elect you to the role, so you can get the fuck out. Right, fuck you. Are you serious? Fuck you! Are you fucking kidding? You ruined my painting! Such a piece of shit! It was a pleasure having you all. Enjoy yourself. Brooke, I need to speak to you for a moment. Okay. I ran everyone's paper through a database. It said yours has already been used. Did you recycle this paper from someone else? No, I swear I wrote it. I mean, I had someone look at it, but I wrote it. You had someone edit it for you? No, I... This wasn't a group assignment. I'm gonna have to fail you, Brooke. Fail me? Are you kidding me? This is the last class I need before I graduate. This is bullshit, please. Your case is already being reviewed by the head of the English department. A case? I can write a new one, I swear. It's out of my hands. I can't talk to anyone else. You're my professor. You're gonna have to speak with the dean. Fucking bullshit. All right. Oh my god, Brooke, are you coming to law club? No, I'm not coming to fucking law club. I can't even graduate undergraduate. How the fuck are you going to law club? Why the fuck does a banana cost a dollar? I don't know, people move in the neighborhood. Price is going up. I know, fucking rich people come in and fuck shit up. I don't even want this banana yeah. more. You want it? I'll take it. Ugh.
Everything is fucked up. I'm failing my class. I don't know who I love. I just want to be an artist. I just want to do what I want to do. I don't want to be a fucking lawyer. Everybody wants me to do what they want me to do. I should go to the show. That's what I want to do. So I was right. Right about what? Right about your friend being a whore. What? You heard me. Well, she's not a... She's Don't. Not a... How are you even defending her again? Huh? Relax, relax, all right. We're going to chill tonight. It's going to be a real good night for us. Here, have a drink. I promise, let me get you a glass of wine. You definitely deserve a glass of wine. You look great. Yeah, I definitely do. Deepest fear. That's a good one. Oh, I have to say that I, I'll probably become a black statistic, for sure. Well, you already won. <laughs> the one about you being a black male student graduate. True. I never thought about it that way. What's yours? That I will end up just like my parents, being corporate rats, and I don't know, work for an international bank or worse, the UN. People would kill for either. Like, why don't you want that for yourself? Because it's a stereotypical thing to do. My parents, both of them were corporate rats. Well, not my mom anymore because she's, you know, remarried, but either way, they're both unhappy. So. What do you want to be like? What do you want for yourself? I want to be a writer. A feminist writer. Why go to business school? Because I have no choice. What do you mean? No, no, no. See, that's the There's always a choice, Ari. Right? I told you that, like, see, parents kill your dream before you even get to realize it, so. I told you before, you always got a choice, and you know that. Well, this is getting very, very deep. Deep is good. Deep is real good. Yep. This place isn't so bad. 
Sort of is my fault. I gave my paper to that Ari girl and she uploaded it to the internet. So? So, you haven't been out of school that long. Teachers use programs to see if kids cheat. What kind of shit is that? Some real life shit. The internet is the wild, wild west. What the fuck, Brooke? Why would you give her your paper? I don't know. I thought she had some tits. Do you know how hard it is to like read a book about some shitty girl roaming through random cities in America? Pretending she really understands life. What the fuck, Brooke? You need to stalk the professor and beg him. I don't even care. Do you want to get cut off? No. Do you want to go home and live with your broken down alcoholic dad? I don't have a dad. Cut the shit. I don't. I mean, whatever. You'll figure everything out on your own. As long as you get hurt enough. Well, that's enough of that. We gotta get ready, so get in the shower. I'm ready. You're not ready. You are disgusting. How oh, gross. So gross. Never been more proud of this group and these lovely lady right here. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Come on, another round. Oh, 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 Isn't that? You know what? We should really get into the music. Yeah, I'm gonna slide the trend. Cheers to not waiting now for anybody.
I'm having my first art show next week. I know you don't take planes, but there's fucking buses and trains and cars. Why are you never there for me? Why are you never there for me since mom died? You're the worst. Fuck you. Fuck you. Karma. I called my dad. I thought your parents were dead. My mom died giving birth to me. And my dad's a broken down alcoholic. And on bad occasions, he's hit me. Brooke, like, why lie to me? I told you You're everything about my past. You're a man. No one expects anything from you. Everyone looks at me with glitter and love in their eyes like I'm some mystic fucking creature. My parents dying in a heroin drug deal is way more provoking than a drunk and a mom too weak to make it out of childbirth. Hey, wait, so let me guess. You're running around with pimps disguised as businessmen to what? To make your life seem a little bit more interesting? I'm afraid to be alone. Why? Because you truly have to face who you are? You're no better. That night we hooked up, I had all these things I wanted to tell you. And the next thing I knew, you were getting head from some bitch. So don't blame me for tucking away my heart. I was just scared. So was I. Hungarian Rhapsody is my favorite, personally. Yeah, sometimes I just want to, well, anyway. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Pastor. These are for you. <sighs> nice touch. Thank you. I, um... I still have to speak with the head of the department, but I will pass your new paper along. All I ask is for your consideration. 
Thank you so much. I I'll email you the results and let you know what happens. Thank you. All right. Your family is beautiful. Have a nice rest of your summer. You too. Do you have your grades? I don't yet, but I will soon. What's the hold up? I had some difficulties, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, I- I'm him, listen to me. I came over here to tell you that I'm not ready to take LSAT prep classes. I know this is baffling to you, but I just need to at least take a year. Look, when you're going to school, it's better if you just take all of your classes and get through school at one time. Because when you keep pushing it back, you won't finish. I know, I understand that maybe for you, but like for me, undergraduate has been a damn near impossible feat. But because it's just, school isn't for everybody. Now I'm having an art show at the end of the week and I would really like for you to come. I haven't been helping you. You because I didn't believe in you. I, I know that you're very smart. You remind me of myself when I was younger. I want you to do well. If, if my father hadn't pushed me into school, I would have become a professional dancer or a, a photographer. And those are just not respectable and stable jobs to have. You know, I'm scared for you. I'm scared for you. I, I don't wa I want you to be able to take care of yourself. I won't be here always. I understand that, but you don't respect anything I say. You're not listening to me. You're not understanding where I'm coming from. But I don't need you to be scared for me. I don't need you to help me. Like I'm telling you, no, I'm screaming to you that this is what I want to do. And I need you to respect that. You don't get it.
talk about you. Really? You know, it's good when they talk. Yeah. It's good when they talk. Let them talk. I have a card. I would like you to call me. I've been curated for over 10 years. But I would ask that you call me. There's a show that's getting ready to happen. And you need to be in it. Okay. You need to be a part of this show. You gonna call me? Yeah. You sure? And they will come. Don't worry, it's early. But I gotta go. Have a good evening. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. She's an angel. She's amazing.